Hello, how are you, Juan Jose? Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Sometimes my microphone doesn't work. <laughs> no, no, but I can hear you today, no problem. Okay, thank you. So what did you do today? Excuse me? Yeah. What did you do today? Oh, um, you say I, I was working all morning in administrative activity in my jobs. Um, this day I, I doesn't teach. Only um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I teach uh, Tuesday and Tuesday. I didn't teach. So I don't, I doesn't teach. I, I didn't teach. Yes, yes. So what classes do you teach? Uh, I have several class. In this moment, um, the, the name is uh, Installation, Technique of Installation. And uh, process, building process. Um, in this moment, in this moment. Uh, Sometimes I, I teach a topographer, math, okay. uh -huh. structural, hydraulic sometimes, but normally only two, two subjects in the semester. Okay. They, they have you teaching many different topics. Yes, yes, I am an architect and I am civil engineer too. That's why you have a lot of different topics, huh? Yes. Okay. Oh, good. All right. Well, it's good to have you as well as everybody else. I see we are ready to get started. Any questions or any, um, any problems with the platform or any questions from the exercises? At the moment, no teacher. No, nobody? No teacher. No, no. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so yesterday we were looking at problems and how to express problems. Um, if you remember, we had many different vocabulary words that we learned, okay. And then we had, for example, aggravate, avoid, cause, deal with, identify, ignore, run into, and solve. Are all of those vocabulary words okay? Do you remember all of those and what they mean with problems? Number one, teacher. Number the aggravate. Aggravate. Aggravate is to make the problem bigger or to make the problem worse. This is aggravate. The others are okay. Okay. All right. Well, then let's go ahead and continue. So today, Marielos, can you please read the objective? Okay, teacher. Um, 2.6 lesson objective. By the end of this section, participants will be able to use moral to express degrees of certainty, obligation, advice, and opinions. Good. Do you remember morals, Marielos? 
מוטלס, יא. יא. צ'ולד, קוד. צ'ולד, קוד. מייט, הארד טו. אספקטיישן, אני לא זוכר. No, no, you're right. It is, it, yeah. All of those are the ideas for the models. And that's what okay. we're going to review today. The different uses for models. Thank you so much for giving us the examples. We're going to watch a small video on different models with different yeah. uses. Hello. Let me remind you, the models may express degrees of certainty, obligation, suggestion, advice, or opinion. I suggest for you to stay and learn a little bit more. Model auxiliaries express many different meanings or moods. Models can express degrees of certainty. What's that noise? It must be the phone, almost 100% sure. It might be the phone, less than 50% sure. It could be the phone, less than 50% sure. Models can also express obligation, advice, or opinions. You must be on time for the interview. Obligation. It's very cold. You should wear a hat. Advice. Everyone should visit Paris once in their life. Opinion. Use models to write reactions to these situations. You and your friend planned to meet, but your friend never arrived. Number two, you loaned a classmate a lot of money last week, but she still hasn't paid you. Okay. So as you can see, many of the different models are the phone. that we talked about already that Marielos gave us in the examples. Those are the models that are here. We use must, can't, could, might, may, should, okay? All of those are the ones and that we can use for different functions of models. Of course, they have different meanings. As you mentioned, must is almost like 100%. Might and could are synonyms, and many times they are interchangeable. So you can say might or could, and it's the same idea. So when you say might is like 50%, hang on. Okay, and the same thing for could. When you use could, same idea. Mm -hmm. It's okay, all of these? Yes. The phone. Okay. So we're gonna look at different situations and we're going to talk about them. So what happened? You plan to meet a friend, but the friend never arrived. What do you think could be a possibility? What could be something that might've happened? It's okay, guys. It's okay to speak. It's, it's not a problem if you speak in English class. It's good for you. Believe me, I know. Maybe uh, sick. Is sick. Mm -hmm. Or okay. maybe, maybe has an accident. Maybe. Okay, good. Now try to use the sentence, but no maybe. Using okay. models and not the word maybe. Like math. Okay. Um, he or she um, to to be um, or choose has been an accident. Okay, maybe no should, but you say because mm -hmm. should is you give your recommendation. Ah, yeah, mm -hmm. yes, it's a possibility. Correct. May or might. Correct. Okay, uh, she or he might be my husband an accident ah uh, exactly there you go my friend must, yeah. might my have friend, been in an accident my friend must be died ah uh, my friend must be dead if not i kill for me ah. <laughs> <laughs> good now in the chat you have two links the first link is for you to understand the grammar the first link is to understand the grammar. 
is going to give you the ideas of the different models that you can use and how to use them. This is link number one, how to use can, could, may, the meaning and the example. It's okay, link number one? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Link number two is for the group. In this moment, we're going to go with our partners in link number two, and we are going to answer those questions using the models. As an example, if you click in link number two, the first questions are, ah, what are some laws that your country's government might pass? What are some laws that your country's government might pass? Ah, so here is using the models, right? El Salvador might pass a law to accept colones again, or to accept Bitcoin. Ah, this is your imagination. Or El Salvador could pass a law to arrest, to arrest the people that abuse the animals. It's okay, the idea? Yes, teacher. Okay, so link one for the rules, the grammar, academic. Link two, practice the oral, applying the, the different models. Okay. Okay. Any questions before we begin? Okay. No teacher. No? no. All, All right. Okay. All, All clear. All is clear? All is clear. Let's do it. Juan Jose, Marcela, do you have problems joining the group? Oh. Okay. Marcela, you have problems? All right, Maritza.
Okay, let's try again, Marcela.
Hey, Alex. How are you? Alex, how are you? Hello, teacher. I have a problem to connect. I see. I see you're having some problems. Okay. Um, the internet? Well, it's the yeah, the internet. I moved to on another another um thing or como sería lugar another place another place for connect. Okay. Okay, teacher, I, I, I'm here. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry, Alex, it's okay. We are, uh, we are learning the modal verbs. In this moment, we are reviewing modal verbs, okay? Yes, I, I, I see some uh, um, about this uh, topic and uh, when you speak about this uh, for the models, um, Mike, Cool and um, shoot, um, yes, but it's not understanding correct, uh, all, all correct. <laughs> okay, in the chat, in the chat are two links. Okay. The first link is to explain more the models so you can understand. The second link is for the practice that we had with our partners, but the word first one is to, pre to practice the, the meaning, the definition, and the examples, how to use them. Okay, I go to the link. You can, uh -huh, when you have a moment, you can take a look and check. Okay, okay. now, anyone else have any questions? Anybody else, is it's okay or no? Um, it's in, it's up and then the, the file. No. Milton, can you can you give give us another example? I I am uh, confused. I'm not clear for me. Okay, Milton, which model? Is is my and cool when they okay. use? Yes. Yes, of course. So might is a possibility. Might is a is possibility. A the two the same. The difference is that might and could, the two possibilities, but could has more options, more usage, okay? So for example, hmm. okay, for, for could, yes, for could, might only is possible, okay? So as an example, Milton, what are you going to do after class? Ah, I might watch TV. I might read a book. Is This is the what same. I, it's possible. Okay. Is I, uh -huh. But with could, could you use the same? I could watch TV. I could read a book. It's possible, but also has other functions. Could can use Ah, uh, uh, could I have your name, please? But not is might I have your name? Is could, uh, for example, I can swim. In the past, I could swim. Could but might not possible in the past. The ability. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. good. Might only only the present. Correct. Might only the present and only possibility, but okay. could no, could possibility request. Uh, ability, this is the difference. 
Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome, Milton. Uh, teacher, good yes. evening. Uh, we can use could uh, for expression fast. Yes. For yes. Yes. Like when you are talking about uh, an ability, uh, for example, before, before I could run, I could go to a party, I could dance for five hours. This is the ability before. Um, okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Can you send the link on the WhatsApp group? Uh, I'm not in the WhatsApp group, but it's in the chat. Uh, I said, okay. Uh -huh, let me, I can, I can put again here in the chat. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. That way it's clear. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Okay, anybody else? Any other questions? I have a question with the vocabulary. Okay, what is the question? In one sentence, in the link, says CEO. What is the meaning of that uh, capital letters? The capital letters is like in El Salvador, the, the president or the director. This is the, the chief operating, uh, the, the CEO is chief executive officer. This is like the president. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay. Hey, thank you very much. I see someone uh, who is on the telephone. Put the link in the two links into the WhatsApp group in case you want to study also in the WhatsApp group. Now we're going to go ahead and continue and we're going to be looking at verbs of belief. Okay. Teacher, teacher excuse me, I have a question. Yes. Uh, there is uh, some rule about the, the, the tense of the verbs that are joined to these modal verbs? Uh, all, not, not for these modal verbs, but all, all modal verbs have the verb in present. In present, always yes. in present. Always, always in present. Uh, okay, teacher, mm -hmm. that's, that's what's about. No problem. So whenever you use modal, the verb is in present. Okay, okay. Cool, like a uh, bear, is used for future too. Yes. Okay, so is the past and the future of can? No, it, it's a model. So is can is an ability. In the past is could. Mm -hmm. In the future is not could and is not can. In and can in the future is will be able to. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. thank you. Yes. The confusion is because can has many different functions, not only the function for model. Has function for model, for request, for ability. This is why sometimes we confuse the functions. Okay, good. Any other questions? How did you? Okay, let's go ahead and watch this small video. Hi, let's look at the following list. These are verbs of beliefs. They will help you express how certain or not you are about something. Ready? Repeat after me. Be certain. Okay. Here are the words. Assume. Be certain. Be positive. Be sure. Bet. Bet. Out. The figure. figure, guess, yes. have a hunch, 
How, uh, how know for a fact, suppose, and suspect. No, for a fact. Okay. Suppose, now suspect. let's listen again. Be positive. Be sure. Be sure. Bet. Dubbed. Bet. Figure. Guess. Have a hunch. Uh, know for a fact. Suppose. Suspect. Yes. Use verbs of beliefs to discuss uh, the following questions. No Number problem. one, why do giraffes have long necks? Number two, is there intelligent life in other planets? Be sure. Now, this is another way to express your opinion. Ah, when you express your opinion is, ah, I think, I don't know, maybe, I'm not sure, but it's not necessary. You can also use verbs of beliefs, okay? This is a way to say, what is your opinion? Assume is, you imagine this is the right answer. Certain, you are clear, you are positive, like be positive, okay? It, are all of these words okay? Okay, coach. Yes. Okay, I have a hunch, teacher. Ah, uh, is, is I, I think, for example, I think my wife is cheating because mm -hmm. in always in the WhatsApp is always chatting. I have a hunch is I have a suspect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a hunch is a su suspect. It's like suspect. Yes. It's like suspect. Teacher. Yes. No for a fact. Is I am positive. I know. Is 100%. Oh, okay. Have, have, a heart, um, have a hunch is when I think that uh, something will be happened. Correct. Okay. Teacher, okay. Have, a, have a punch. I don't know. Is this the meaning? Have a sense. No. Is have a hunch is I believe. Mm. I, I think is I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you give figure figure. Figure. Yes. Figure is that this is your opinion. This is what you imagine. Oh, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. It's okay, or let me show you one more time, just in case. Any other words? No, no for a fact. I am positive. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are the verbs of belief. Now, before we do the anything else, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk with our partners. What do you think about different things? For example, in the video, they said, discuss the questions. Do you think there is life in other planets? Do you, why do giraffes have long legs? Okay. So these are where you give your opinion and you can use the different questions that they have there. Okay. Okay. So, so, or? Yes, guys, or, or no, we're okay. Yes, teacher. It's okay, yes. teacher. Okay, yes. perfect, perfect. All right. So now, okay, we're going to give some questions, okay? Here, I put in the chat conversations for us to practice with our partners and give your opinion. This is for opinion, suggestion, uh, recommendation. This is where we can use our models 
and we can use the ones for advice. Okay. It's okay. Everybody has access to the link? Yes. Yes. Okay. The same in our groups. Remember, we're going to speak, ask. The important is not answer the questions. The important is create a conversation. So when you look in the group, in the chat, the idea is not, yes, no, uh, I agree. I don't know. The idea is create. So for example, what is question number one? Whose advice do you follow more? Your parents or your friend's advice? Okay, okay. This is question number two, but okay. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, to... number two, yes. But no, no, no. What's your okay, pieces of but... advice will you give your children? No, no, it's okay, it's okay. The important is we create. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. no, it's not correct, my friends. It's not correct, my parents. No, the correct way to answer or a good way to answer it is, um, I follow my parents' advice more because my parents always have my, uh, and then you explain your answer. My partner can then continue with follow-up questions. Oh, really? Wh what example, what advice did your parent give you that you listened to? What advice did your parents give you that you didn't like? This is the idea. It's not only question answer, it's not, it's not question answer, it's conversation. It's okay? Okay. It's okay. Yes. All right. Clear, Good. Teacher. It's clear. The important is practice expanding, practice speaking big sentences. Okay.
Good evening, listeners, and welcome to Still Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight, we're going to talk about the strange case of Betty and Barney Hill. They were convinced that one night in 1961, they were abducted by aliens. Could this really have happened? Martha Stevens is here to talk about it. Martha, what's the story? Hi, David. Well, one night, while the Hills were driving home from a vacation in Montreal, they saw a bright point of light in the sky. Barney assumed it must be a plane or maybe a satellite, but Betty thought it could be a UFO. There were no other cars on the road, so Barney drove slowly so they could watch it. The object seemed to be flying beside them. Barney began to agree that it couldn't be a plane, so he stopped the car. And Betty said she saw about 10 creatures looking at them through windows in the object. And then what happened? As they drove quickly away, they suddenly felt tired and their bodies felt strange. Their next memory was driving on the highway again. They arrived at their home early the next morning. They said things were still strange. How were they strange? Well, they couldn't remember the drive home clearly. Betty found pink powder and stains on her dress. She had no idea where they might have come from. Did they contact anyone? Betty wrote a letter to the Air Force about their strange experience and about the terrible dreams she was having. The Air Force said Betty must have been having the dreams because she thought she saw a UFO. They said she couldn't have seen aliens. Betty and Barney were interviewed and hypnotized many times by doctors. They told stories about having medical tests on the spaceship. What did the doctors think? They doubted the story. They said dreams like this can be triggered by science fiction TV shows. Barney's description of the creatures matched creatures from a TV show. Doctors figured the Hills must have seen the show. Betty said Barney couldn't have seen the show because he worked in the evenings when it was on TV. Hmm. I suspect the doctors were right. That must be the real explanation. Well, maybe. There's one more thing. Doctors asked the Hills what time they left Montreal and what time they got home. The trip should have taken four hours. The Hills were amazed to realize it had taken them seven hours. What happened to the missing three hours? Good question, Martha. I guess that's why it's still an unsolved mystery. Okay, so so questions not clear. Tell me. Oh, it's okay, teacher. I like it. 
Ajá, ajá. All is okay. In the Maybe. exam, teacher, alguien ayúdeme en este. Mire, y este. Mm, I like, but I like, I like. <laughs> uh, I have some doubts in the... <laughs> In the platform. Uh huh. And then I, in the platform, what, what happened here? And what point? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I I guess, teacher, the most important thing is 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 to to practice a lot of, a lot of, a lot of practice because uh, I think that's the key the key for the successful. Yeah. And really at this level, the most important is practice speaking. This is the most important in this level because academic, you know, vocabulary, models that you have the academic, you need the practice, the practice, 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 practice. You're okay, right. good. Okay. In this moment, we are going to practice listening. The listening is long is long, is three minutes. It's good to listen and take notes, write down information, what happened, what was the experience, okay? The different, the different things that you hear. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Milton, you're ready? You, you're ready to take the notes? Yes? Okay. All right. Listen. Here we go. Good evening, listeners, and welcome to Still Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight, we're going to talk about the strange case of Betty and Barney Hill. They were convinced that one night in 1961, they were abducted by aliens. Could this really have happened? Martha Stevens is here to talk about it. Martha, what's the story? Okay. First, when did this happen? When? 1961. Good. And what are the names of the people? What are the names of the people? Martha Stevens. Martha. Okay. okay, good. Now we're going to listen. Go ahead. Now continue listening and take notes. Good. This is the idea. Hi, David. Well, one night while the Hills were driving home from a vacation in Montreal, they saw a bright point of light in the sky. Barney assumed it must be a plane or maybe a satellite, but Betty thought it could be a UFO. There were no other cars on the road, so Barney drove slowly so they could watch it. The object seemed to be flying beside them. Barney began to agree that it couldn't be a plane, so he stopped the car. And Betty said she saw about 10 creatures looking at them through windows in the object. And then what happened? As they drove quickly away, they suddenly felt tired and their bodies felt strange. Their next memory was driving on the highway again. They arrived at their home early the next morning. They said things were still strange. How were they strange? Well, they couldn't remember the drive home clearly. Betty found pink powder and stains on her dress. She had no idea where they might have come from. Did they contact anyone? Betty wrote a letter to the Air Force about their strange experience and about the terrible dreams she was having. The Air Force said Betty must have been having the dreams because she thought she saw a UFO. They said she couldn't have seen aliens. Betty and Barney were interviewed and hypnotized many times by doctors. They told stories about having medical tests on the spaceship. What did the doctors think? They doubted the story. They said dreams like this can be triggered by science fiction TV shows. Barney's description of the creatures matched creatures from a TV show. Doctors figured the Hills must have seen the show. Betty said Barney couldn't have seen the show because he worked in the evenings when it was on TV. Hmm. I suspect the doctors were right. That must be the real explanation. Well, maybe. There's one more thing. Doctors asked the Hills what time they left Montreal and what time they got home. The trip should have taken four hours. 
the hills were amazed to realize it had taken them seven hours. What happened to the missing three hours? Good question, Martha. I guess that's why it's still an unsolved mystery. Okay. Now, with your partners, you're going to discuss what you understand from your notes. What happened? What was the situation? Where? The name of the people? Everything. You ready? Yes. Ready. Okay. Okay, guys, so what do you think? Is possible or not possible aliens or to be abducted by aliens? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. I have, I have yeah. a hunch that oh. it's possible. It's possible. Exactly. <laughs> I figured it. I suspect. I suspect. <laughs> exactly. This is the idea. Use the vocabulary. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Tomorrow's topic is using the vocabulary with your opinion for aliens, intelligent life, 
others and we listen again and answer more questions. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. 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 Yes, it's okay. Excellent job, guys. Okay. Excellent. Speak to excellent conversation. Have a nice night. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.